guys, thought I'd do a spur of the moment impromptu uh, video. Thought I'll just, uh, no planning, we'll grab a beer, sit down and uh, see what comes out the other end. So this afternoon, I am going to try this bad boy here, kindly sent to me by Carl from Floor Sweepers Union. It's his ESB, clocking in at 5.4%. I don't know if you can see that, he's written the hops. Target, North Down, Challenger and Goldings. And he's written on the cap that it's a New Zealand ESB, so I'm guessing, Carl, that um, it's all uh, Gladfields malt combined with the English hops. So really looking forward to cracking this open. Um, but before I do that, I just thought I'd quickly show you this book. Now, I have to give a big shout out to Dave from Cheshire Home Brew. He's the man that um, showed this book on one of his videos. And um, I was so impressed, I um, ordered a copy myself. So it's got a section in the front all about brewing, but that's not the main reason I got it. The main reason is it has 50 homebrew recipes from the world's best craft breweries. And um, yeah, very impressed with what's in there. I'll just quickly show you. You've got recipes from the likes of Evil Twin. Um, gigantic. Thornbridge, Boneyard, Mikula, or Michaela is it? Mikula. Um, Camden Town, Firestone Walker, Union Jack, West Coast IPO, um, and even a couple from down this neck of the woods. So you got Russian River, um, there's the old, the old famous Brewdog Punk IPA. Uh, Oscar Blues, I've heard good things about Oscar Blues, but never brewed up one of the beers. Um, so yeah, really, really um, looking forward to this, uh, trying a few recipes. Now this one caught my eye, it's the Omni Polo Vanilla Smoothie IPA, and um, Adam, if you're watching from Baldy's Home Brew, I thought that might be one that you'd be interested in. Uh, it's got the raspberries, um, so yeah, it's meant to taste like a smoothie, so I thought, oh, that'll, that'll be one that you'd be keen on. And then, as I was saying, from this neck of the woods, we've got the Yeasty Boys Digital IPA, which I've tried, and it's a fantastic beer. So yeah, if you're looking for um, a book with some good recipes, I don't think you can go too far past this book. I got this from uh, the name on the screen. Um, it was like 26 New Zealand dollars, which is about 13 pounds, I think, so... Uh, yeah, highly recommend it. But let's get on to the get on to the main event. We'll crack open Carl's ESB. I've actually got an ESB of my own that's just conditioning up. So I was going to do a side by side, but I couldn't wait any longer. So let's pour this up. So the only recent ESB I've had is the Fullers. So that's sort of still relatively fresh in my mind, um, so I'll probably be using that as a bit of a reference. But it's poured up fantastic, a nice dark sort of walnut sort of colour. Uh, it is actually pretty clear, I don't know if that's showing up there with the light. Got the old uh, hop zombie glass from Epic, but we'll turn it around so you can see the beer a bit better. Beautiful... Um, sort of creamy, fluffy sort of head. So yeah, cheers guys and cheers um, Carl. So the beer's been out of the fridge a little while but maybe I should let it warm up a bit more. Be getting some nice, um, talking about the grains first, just getting some nice caramel sweetness um, which is sort of one of the um, Sort of hallmarks of a of an ESB. It's sort of nice caramel coming through. And then um, as far as the hops go, they're sort of um, I was going to say woody, woody and floral. But that smell, oh, that smells really good. So I'm going to dive in, guys. It's good. I guess the first thing that struck me was the, um, well, the first thing I tasted was the caramel up front. It 
So you use a nice hit of caramel sweetness up front. And then you're getting those hops that sort of sort of was sort of woody floral on the nose, but um, yeah, it's a bit more earthy. Even a little bit um, sort of spicy on the flavour. Oh, that's nice. 5.4%. Um, it's a nice sort of fairly moderate hit of bitterness up front, but then it sort of tapers away really nicely. But yeah, earthy, woody, floral. Yeah, like I say, a little bit of spice, um, and then that real nice caramel sweetness coming through, which is probably one of the main dominant um, features of the beer, and that's what I sort of remembered from the Fullers. It's got quite a, a f upfront and full-on caramel sweetness. The Fullers, from memory, was quite a bit sweeter than your beer, Carl. Um, yours has definitely got the caramel, but it's not that sort of cloying over the top sort of sickly sweetness. Well that's nice, we'll just top it up. Yeah, so I'm um, looking forward to trying my um, ESB as well. Uh, mine's only single hop, whereas Carl's gone the whole whole hog and done the four different um, four different English uh, style or, or yeah English are they all English challenges it? yeah I think so just showing my ignorance a bit there um, so yeah Carl's go, gone the whole hog maybe a little bit of um, it's gonna say like biscuity sort of aroma coming through now doorbell guys hang on a sec I'll just grab that and I'll be back Okay, I'm back. So yeah, that was a uh, courier delivery. Unfortunately, it's not for me, but um, Sharon will be very impressed to get that. Um, so yeah, where were we? Um, yeah, fantastic job on the beer, Carl. That colour is, I think that colour is bang on. Um, maybe a touch darker than the uh, Fuller's. But I mean, I'm, I'm using the Fuller's as a uh, reference point, only because it's the only one I can sort of think of that I've had recently. But I know the colours will change quite um, dramatically between the different, um, different ESBs and the different breweries. But um, Oh, that's nice. Yeah, definitely getting more sort of biscuit in along with the caramel now. It's warming up a bit more. Makes me feel like I'm sitting in a, or drinking this, I can sort of um, imagine I'm sitting in an old English pub somewhere. We've got the perfect weather outside, it's dreary and it's starting to get cold, so it's the perfect beer. Mmm, top job. Thank you very much for this car, I'm going to stop uh, here, try and keep the video at a reasonable level. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Um, check, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> check out the comments below, um, Carl will probably put a bit more info on the beer if you're interested, so check that out, and until next time, have a good day, and, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next, next video, guys, over and out, cheers.